Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. We've got an exciting topic today. Something that I know just a little bit about. We're talking about housewives today. And not just any housewife topic, we're talking about housewives fights. The most iconic, dirty, drag out, intense fights of Housewives history. I have over a decade of knowledge since I've been following the Housewives ever since I can remember. Let's jump right into it right now. The Wig Pull, Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 2. Kim Zolciak has been running around all season talking about the ladies behind all of their backs and it came to a head during this epic fight. Now, when Kim tries to walk away, that's when things get physical. Sheree wraps her fingers around Kim's wig, and I thought Sheree was gonna snatch it for a minute. I was kind of like watching like, now, Sheree did say in a confessional that she had no intentions at all of pulling the wig off. She just wanted to give it a little tug. Tamara versus Gina, Real Housewives of Orange County, season six. So during this finale, things started to get very heated when Tamara confronted Gina about interviews that Gina was giving to the press about details of Tamara's family, specifically details about her marriage with now ex-husband Simon. Now that's a fight. Scary Island, Real Housewives of New York City, season three. Like you're absolutely crazy. Okay, I'm crazy. Something's happening here. We all think you need to get help. There's something wrong with you. Because I don't like you. That's not an illness. You, your dad. Kelly saying about Bethany, she's not a chef, she's a cook, and claiming she couldn't sleep and kept throwing up because she thought Bethany was trying to kill her, which made all the other ladies believe Kelly was on her way to a mental breakdown. We're picking on her, okay? Okay, let's She's stop. the problem. I feel like you're trying to kill me every night, and I threw up. She's paranoid. The night before I came. Because I don't want to be a part of this. Go to sleep! Go to sleep! You're crazy! Go to sleep! No, don't be mean to her. This infamous feud between Bethany Frankel and Kelly Ben Simone in St. John's will forever go down in Housewives Hall of Fame. Don't talk about my husband. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season five. So during this trip to Amsterdam during season five, Kim Richards threatened to reveal a secret about Lisa Rinna's husband, saying, let's not talk about the husband. Let me tell you something. Don't touch my husband. Kyle running out the side door of the restaurant down the street. That's a scene I'll never forget. Who won't check me, boo? Real Housewives of Atlanta season two. So in this season two, Real Housewives of Atlanta fight, Sheree goes to meet with her party planner, Anthony. So she wants to discuss an upcoming event. Sheree is very upset because she hasn't gotten to meet, and meet the poet that was supposed to write a poem for her during her party. <laughs> But Anthony does not react well to this bomb being dropped, leading to Anthony's co-workers closing the door to the office so they didn't have to hear this fight. I'm organizing this event for you. Well, exactly. For, for you, me, honey. For you. The Cleveland girl, that's where I'm from, the Cleveland girl was ready to get on the phone and call Pookie now to come over there and whoop your ass. Seriously. <laughs> You 
And then Sheree uttered the now famous line catchphrase that also is now a song. Who gonna check me, boo? Who gonna check me, boo? And then ends the fight by asking, Whatever happened to customer service? Real Housewives of Potomac, Mama's House, season five. That fight went from zero to 100 really quickly. Bethany versus Luann. Life is in a cabaret. Real Housewives of New York season 11. Look in the fucking mirror. Look at me. Look at you. You never checked in on Dennis. Not once. Bethany Frankel unloads on Luann in Miami during this blow up. Bethany and all the other ladies, quite frankly, has had it with Luann's lack of self-awareness and inflated ego. I didn't get a massage because you're an asshole that didn't even have lunch with us today that you go to look at your own poster. I you're, went you're, for a you, swim at you, the you, beach, you, you, for God's sake. sake. You're missing her pain. You're not you're getting it. It's so sad. This is so sad. Did you understand? It was a whole weekend. I took weeks of my life for you. She's being your f***ing doormat. I know she is. No, she is. No, she's my doormat. She's she my friend. She saved you. We... I had lawyers come to your house on a Sunday. I spoke to your kids. I sat outside in your driveway to make sure that you didn't drive your car. You almost crashed the boat and killed your friends. You were running in a field in negligee and had to be taken in cop cars. And I made sure that they didn't record it so you didn't ultimately get arrested. I was not you in a place. You left the f***ing rehab that I got you for free two weeks early. And said, I didn't leave two weeks said, early. Yes, you did. You know what? I left a week early you to go because I had to work. Cabaret! Yes, and I need to go and do that. For cabaret, you I need to go and do that. I got it for free. You're sick. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Bethany had a complete mental and emotional breakdown and lost her mind in this iconic housewives fight. Danielle versus Margaret, the ponytail pull. Real Housewives of New Jersey, season 10. So tensions rose between Margaret and Danielle during, in my opinion, one of the franchise's most explosive fights ever. Marge later reveals that Danielle pulled so hard she needed to go to the hospital for whiplash. Portia versus Kenya, Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion season six. Props and all were brought out during this epic reunion fight. We have scepters, bullhorns, and Cynthia's titty, who is the real MVP of this fight, might I add. Portia and Kenya go head to head, throwing accusations about fake boyfriends and cheating rumors. So this Real Housewives of Atlanta fight will go down in history as one of the craziest housewife fights ever. Now for some honorable mentions. First up, the Battle of the Joes, Real Housewives of New Jersey season five. Stick with your sister. I'm not sticking with scum like you. Joe. Joe, he just called me scum. I want to leave. Hey, Joe, what? Apologize. No! 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 The Leg, Real Housewives of New York, season six. The only thing that is artificial or fake about me. This. 
After Aviva left the show though, she then admitted that it was all for the show and it was a big publicity stunt. This isn't my plate, you fucking bitch. Real Housewives of Orange County, season 12. Maybe you need some hormones or something for your body. Oh, you're going to have to take that off. And the not-so-quiet woman will go down in history as one of Orange County's most craziest fights ever. And now, number one, the table flip. Real Housewives of New Jersey season one. Real Housewives of New Jersey freshman season really delivered and gave us the most iconic, memorable Housewives fights that will go down in Housewives history in all of reality TV pop culture history books. Danielle's ex-husband wrote a book about Danielle Staub called Cop Without a Badge that details Danielle was a stripper, she was arrested, she changed her name from Beverly to Danielle, and this storyline played out all throughout the season and it came to a head during a season finale cast family dinner while Danielle Staub brought the famous cop without a badge book and laid it on the dinner table. Teresa lost her mind when Danielle told her to pay attention, please. This brought on the iconic table flip. Two things are written that are true. One, name change, I got arrested. Pay attention, please. That was totally uncalled for, for what she did. Like, to pay attention? Like, who is she? Is she God? No. So don't ever tell me to pay attention. I am paying attention. Obviously, there has to be something else. It's just not being changed and arrested. There has to be something else. Oh, why are you with me? Why is arrested? Prostitution whore? You are f***ing gay. And housewife history was forever changed. Thank you so much, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this countdown of the most iconic housewives fights in housewife history. Make sure you get yourself subscribed to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and hit that bell icon to get notified when new videos are about to post. Until next time, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye. Boom.